Well, hi. It's Rick Giggy, and uh, today I want to make a video because I enjoy making them. Um, every morning I have these little routines, and one of the pieces of the routine is um, to use a, a tarot deck. And uh, I, I think I've made a video before about tarot uh, decks. And um, this morning, this amazing thing happened that the card that I picked yesterday came up again. Same card. Even though I'd carefully shuffled the deck and done this little procedure of, you know, dividing them into... T but anyway, it's the astronomical challenges of it. And... It's, it's this card right here. It's called Ruin. And, and it really helps me because these cards get me to think and to reflect, like, how am I now? Does this fit? Doesn't it fit? And so, so this is a card. It's called the Ten of Swords. And when I, when I first looked at it a long, long time ago, it was like, oh, my God, this is terrible. And and I'm going to read to you because I and it'll be kind of tough, but I'll I'll see how it goes. Um, and it's from this book that a friend and teacher wrote uh, called the Tarot Handbook. And I found it to be a really good guide. And and uh, her her name was Angela Zarian. And so the Ten of Swords symbolizes fear of ruin. This is a state of mental despair or fear held in the mind to such a point that you have made a conscious decision that things are not going to work out in two areas of your life, either in an emotional relationship uh, which is symbolized by the pierced heart in the card, or about finances, which is symbolized by the scales at the top of the card. And, you know, it, it's great because it, it just brought up, like, okay, I went inside into my inner universe, and I said, okay, let's, let's look at this fear. And, boy, there it was really old, going back, my father gave it to me, my grandfather gave it to me, my my mother didn't give it to me, but all the neighbors in my neighborhood, the other kids, <clears throat> because I was a weird kid, most of the things I tried didn't, didn't work. And, you know, I got beaten up on top of it for being weird. The astrological aspect, uh, aspects of this card is sun in Gemini. Individuals who have sun in Gemini, and I'm one of them, are mentally gifted in synthesizing polarities, oppositions, and paradox. Because they have this ability, they are able to look at all aspects of a situation, the positive aspects as well as the negative aspects, and in their faculty to do this, sometimes they are able to see things which reduce fear within their nature. And, and especially uh, in those issues uh, concerning matters of the heart or finances or practical implementation of creative ideas. And that's been true. I, I uh, have for, faced many financial and relationship uh, uh, problems and... Um, uh, and I'm, you know, I, of course, like everybody, you still have them. Um, and I'm, uh, still working on doing something about, you know, what I perceive. When you pull this card, it may indicate that in the next 10 weeks or in the next 10 months, you will want to reserve, uh, resolve a negative thinking that produces fear of ruin about your relationships with Gemini people in your life, anyone born May the 21st to June the 21st, or in the next 10 weeks, uh, or in the next 10 months, 
You may want to release fears of ruin surrounding financial situations or fears of ruining, ruining, um, God, I can't, my eyes are so screwed up, of ruining um, uh, emotional relationships that are important to you at this time. And for the next 10 months or the next year, I'm going to be focusing probably for the first time and get asking for help and really facing the fact that I'm uh, not very skilled at uh, financial matters. I uh, have been far too emotional about it. And at the same time, I'm very grateful that uh, I've, I've had a blessed life uh, financially. Uh, you know, I've had enough and I think that that's all that I want in the future. And I want to make a lot of money so I can give it away uh, and support life and support, you know, people who are suffering. Also, what you may be releasing could be old fears held in the mind or old memories that are imprinted about relationships or about finances that go back to the last 10 months or 10 years ago or when you were 10 years old. Well, I got to tell you, that's really true, because when I was 10 years old, my father was really, really ill, once again, and my mother had to go out to work, and I had to do all the cooking, and everybody was frightened about money. We ended up getting evicted, uh, and uh, it was a terrifying time, and it laid down some powerful memories that still haunt me. Um, uh, and, uh, and how I've dealt with it is, well, I'm not going to worry about it, which is kind of silly because I don't have any savings and, and I'm going to have, I'm not, I'm not even worried about it. I'm looking at it really carefully and asking for help and receiving help. <clears throat> this card, uh, it might be interesting to take a look, uh, to see which of your parents had lots of fear about finances. Well, that was my dad. Because uh, he, he, you know, lived in a slum and hand to mouth with his mom in, uh, in Glasgow. And, and his life in Can Canada was always very sketchy. It took him 35 years at one point uh, to, to pay off the, uh, the medical debts that were accrued from my birth. And you know they 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 didn't blame me for it, uh, but I certainly felt it, and it wasn't easy to live with. Or uh, about relationships uh, not working, because within the next ten weeks or the next ten months, you are determined to release old fears of ruin concerning uh, finances and relationships that may have been been imprinted through family conditioning. Now, my family were terrified of conflict. And, um, and many times they, uh, they pretended. They, they were really good fakers. I mean, my dad was even a grifter, you know. He'd, he was always hustling. Um, and uh, the number 10 is associated with an aspect of the card called the Wheel of Fortune. So this is fear that is moving, or there is an attempt consciously in the mind to turn things in a more fortunate, positive direction in the next 10 weeks and in the next 10 months. The Wheel of Fortune card can be drawn upon for visual support in turning this situation into the direction uh, of more positive uh, results <clears throat> rather than fearful results. This symbol uh, reminds us to make this uh, statement such as uh, it's not going to work or uh, I, I know it's not going to work, uh, which, which is consciously, consciously, consciously deciding that things are not going to work. Somehow, in the next 10 weeks or 10 months, you will release the fear that produces negative thinking that results, uh, uh, that leads to conscious decisions 
about things not working. And Angela's taught me something that's been very, very important and very helpful to me. And that she says, whenever you have a fear, like, this isn't going to work. Or, you know, I'm always going to be broke. Or I'm never going to be able to make enough money to uh, to uh, really be a, 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 a big philanthropist that, that it, you know, I've got enough for, for my wife and I. And, uh, and then to just give the rest away uh, to support life. And particularly... Uh, you know, the, the people who are suffering and indigenous people whose culture is being robbed from them all the time. So she taught me, she said, the minute you have that fear, oh, this isn't going to work, you say these words. And that's a story that doesn't need to happen. Or, you know, I haven't got any money yet. And you see, what we think actually starts to starts to happen. And I can talk more about it. There's a, a lovely prayer uh, that uh, my wife has taught me, um, but I'll make another video about that one. Well, no, maybe I'll, I'll do it right now because it's, it's all about fear. And it's, you're thinking and you're frightened like, oh my God, I need a new car. And then you do this prayer and you think, wouldn't it be nice Oh, wouldn't it be nice? And you feel it. You don't just think it. It's in your heart. And you're thinking how great it would be to have another car that worked. And then quick like a bunny, you change your... Think about something else. Because if you keep thinking about it, all these parts inside you will come in and say, oh, that's not going to work. That's a bunch of hooey, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I hope you've enjoyed this uh Ten of Swords uh, card, because I think it applies to everybody. And, um, you know, let me know if you think it's a good idea that I read a morning card and a morning quotation and all these other things, because if it helps you, I want to do that. Because I've got so many people have helped me, and so much has helped me. Dogs, cats, trees, people, people I don't even know. And um, and I am dedicated to passing that on. Okay, so please pass on what works for you and let me know about it. Uh, and I'll try to help you help other people. Okay, thanks for thanks for watching. It's been fun. I love doing these things.